This is a fingerboard. And this is a mini FPV drone. So what happens if I... You guys know what day it is. It is Fingerboard Friday. And for Fingerboard Fridays, I generally like to do something bigger. So today we have this little drone, we have a fingerboard, and you know what we are going to do. So there's nothing really left to say about this, but I want to really try this because I think this will be pretty cool. So I just wanted to talk about this pretty quick because it is very cool. You definitely want to hear about this. So if you've never heard of an FPV drone, it is basically a drone that you wear goggles. These are these FPV goggles. I will explain a little bit more later, but this is a camera and basically while you are flying, you are seeing exactly what the drone is seeing and you cannot even watch the drone while you are flying because you have goggles on that make you see what it is seeing. And just look at how tiny and cute this little camera is. This thing is like smaller than my fingernail. Probably my favorite part is the antenna for the camera because how cool does that look? So you can think of these goggles kind of like VR goggles, like virtual reality goggles. Despite that these are more expensive than VR goggles and it doesn't even have the same sensors or anything to do something like VR. So I've done enough talking about the drone. I don't need to do any talking about this because it's just a mini skateboard. So let's get into it. So these are the batteries for the drone and I have been using this drone over the past few days and I have not labeled my batteries so I have no idea which ones are good, which ones are bad, so I will just try some and see which ones work and which ones do not work. And something really cool about this drone is it doesn't have one of those like little tiny toy controllers. No, it has this. Doesn't this look so much better than one of those like little Walmart things? This one is even a decent Walmart controller, but like still, it just doesn't match this. The best pilots on earth actually use this controller, so it's pretty neat. Also something cool is there's a switch on here, so right now if I do something, I'm not able to control anything, but with one flip of a switch, so Also, there is a, something kind of messed up with like the gyro in this. For some reason, the more you fly, it just kind of wants to go in one direction more and more. I have crashed this a lot, so I probably just damaged something on the board. So that's about the only issue with this. All right, now let's strap my fingerboard to this and see what we can do. So because these have rubber bands to hold the batteries in place, I'm pretty much just able to strap this right on. All right, <laughs> I've done it. I made the first ever fingerboard drone. Now let's see what we can do with this. All right, I'll see if I can just kind of glide off the picnic table. See if I can achieve that. Well, I mean, that worked but can it fly? This drone on its own, I'm kind of using a bit of a bigger battery than I should be on this. So the battery is quite a bit of weight in relation to the drone. Also these motors are kind of old, so I should replace them and they'll have a little bit more power. So this should be able to lift the fingerboard, but I am still unsure. That does fly. <laughs> but we have another problem. There we go. How did you enjoy the little Tokyo Drift montage? It was awesome. If you did hear that, that means we didn't get copyrighted. <laughs> if you couldn't hear that, then it got copyrighted and we weren't able to use it, so. Thanks, YouTube. But this thing is sick. <laughs> Do 
You can just kind of like drift it around and just like do stuff. And to be honest, it's actually a little bit easier to control than I was originally thinking. Now let's see what we can do with it. All right, so now let's start with this. I don't know what this is doing over there. All right, let's go. Wait, can I fingerboard with it? I don't think so. <laughs> that was like really cool actually. I like let it go and I was expecting it to just kind of like fall in, but it was just like glided in. I just flew into the cameraman and that looked like it hurt, but it's okay, you're just the cameraman. You're the only person that films the videos, so I guess that's kind of important, I guess. This battery is starting to get low, so I'm not able to hover it too much, but I'll see what else I can do. Oh yeah, and keep watching because we are gonna get the fingerboard pike in here and see what we can do on that. A few moments later. All right, I want to do more drifting because that is actually really fun. And it goes fast as well. I mean, that was cool. How fast can this actually go though? Uh, ooh, I have an idea. I'll put the half pipe like this. So now it can't go anywhere. Like, oh yeah, I guess it can miss the entire half pipe that takes up the whole table. I'm gonna take the strap off so I can properly control the controller. Why are you going to the side? I guess the drone is a little bit toned, which is probably making it a little bit harder to control. There we go. I don't want to wreck the half pipe. <laughs> All right, now I will change the battery so we have more power. Okay. I forgot that if I turn the controller off <laughs> before the drone, that it just keeps going. I'm pretty sure it stops, but I'm unsure. There we go. It's always terrifying when that happens because you don't expect it and you can't do anything, especially when you have a fingerboard on it and you can't reach the unplug button. Okay, we now have the pike in place. This is the first time using my ill pill wheels on the pike and they are smooth and also loud. Let's see if we can gap from here into this bank. And if you're wondering where the rail went, this was up against a wall and I was walking and my leg hit it and it flew off because we only used super glue. I'm honestly surprised how long that lasted for, but we will probably glue it back. I mean, that's not what I was trying. <laughs> This battery has some good juice in it. <laughs> that was actually really neat. That was clean. Do a replay on that. There has been a skate pipe crash. I 
I, when I started this video, I didn't think I could do anything on it. Like, I was not expecting to be able to do anything with this. Never mind doing actual lines with a fingerboard drone. Oops. <laughs> that actually flew like really high. The battery is coming undone. Trying to make it up there. I feel like I'm going to drop the controller, so I'm gonna put this back on just so it's a bit safer. <laughs> There we go. Let's see if we can just cruise along the pike. If you can't go up a bank, just fly up there. <laughs> Wait, I need to get a trick. I wanna see if I can do like a 360 off of there. See if we can get it. Wrong control. I promise, I am a good drone pilot. <laughs> but when it's on a fingerboard, it's to be determined. 180. I'm attempting this. I have a plan though. If I can have this leaning forwards while I turn, I might just be able to get it. Yep, still no way. Can we do a fakey drop off of here? Kind of. All right, we have done it. We made the first ever drone fingerboard. So I'd say that that worked. You can't say that that didn't work because that was awesome. This actually blew me away because at the start of this, I did not think that I was gonna be able to do anything, but I was like going along a skate park with a drone strapped to a fingerboard with a battery being controlled by a controller. So there's nothing else that I can really say about this, but if you have a drone and a fingerboard, you could give this a go, I guess, but it's pretty cool. So I hope you enjoyed this video and it's Fingerboard Friday. So you might want to subscribe for future Fingerboard Friday videos if you are not yet subscribed. And thank you again for 11,000 subscribers. So thank you once again for watching this video all the way to the end. And remember, on my Fingerboard Instagram account, so that's Gription Fingerboards, I am doing a giveaway at 200 followers, so if you're not yet following me on there, go follow me because you guys could win a board very similar to this. More details on that coming soon once I hit 200 followers on that Instagram, but until then, I'll see you in my next video. No, 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 no. I guess you are watching this in the outtake box, so thanks for watching through the video to see this in the outtake box. <laughs>